Hello, I'm Georgia Clay Garnett. I'm 19 years old and this is my application video for the Elite Memorial Scholarship. I have always given my future career and what I'm going to do one day when I'm big a lot of thought and I've always wanted to find something that is a little bit unique and that suited me. I wanted to find something that I was passionate about and that I could enjoy every single day working in new environments, meeting new people, working with new people, being creative and find something that also suited that little bit of a control freak inside of me. I originally came across an American wedding planner who had a YouTube channel and I found myself binge watching her videos, not because I'm planning on getting married anytime soon, but because it fascinated me. What she did fascinated me and this kind of led me down a bit of a rabbit hole and that's when I came across the Elate Academy and that was the cherry on top. When I had found the Elate Academy and when I had found everything that I had I could learn in this industry and the potential I had in this industry um, I knew that it was right for me and it ticked all of my boxes. I know that this in industry isn't just flowers and meeting new people and going to nice places and producing nice events. I know it comes with a lack of sleep, high stress levels and hard work, but that is where I thrive. I do well under pressure. So that aspect of the industry hasn't deterred me at all. I would say the first thing that sets me apart from the other applicants is my resilience and determination. In the last year, this year, I have been thrown into the deep end many times and I have taken on new challenges that have pushed me way out of my comfort zone many times. I've come out of every single one of those challenges stronger and more confident in myself. And I think I can say that in the last year, I have gathered a lot more experience than your average 19 year old. I also pride myself in integrity and empathy. My integrity being that all of the work that I do is hard and honest work and I'm not going to take credit where credit isn't due. And empathy, I consider myself to be a good people person. I'm good with people, I'm good at understanding people and listening to people and working with people. I'm good at leading people. I've had natural leadership skills since a young age and that doesn't come with ego and that doesn't come with a sense of entitlement when it comes to working with different types of people that's one of my strong suits i am the best candidate for the scholarship because it will not be wasted the scholarship is honoring elate and everything that he did and everything that he was passionate about and i will make sure to make everyone yourselves at the elate academy as well as elate proud I will take everything that I will have learned during my time at the Elite Academy into and through my career. I have worked hard to be here. I've worked hard to be in a position where I can apply to the Elite Academy and to be in a position where I can now apply for this scholarship. And I will continue to work even harder during my time at the Elite Academy and utilize this scholarship to its and to my full potential. And although I have worked incredibly hard to be here and to be able to apply, I can humbly and realistically say that I need this scholarship and I need this financial aid to get me through this three-year diploma. If I am the fortunate enough candidate to have earned this scholarship, it will not go to waste. Why do I need this scholarship? When this scholarship opportunity came up, it was like an answer to so many prayers. My family have been struggling financially for a while now. For the majority of my life, my parents have owned and run a drug and alcohol rehabilitation center. I grew up watching them change the lives of so many people. Um, so when COVID hit and travel stopped, clients went home. A lot of the clients that my parents had came from Belgium and Holland. As the lockdown went on, my parents couldn't afford to keep the business open any longer. My parents went a long time without any income. My dad eventually got a job as a truck driver in England. So he moved over as soon as he could, just so that he could start earning again. My mom and my brother and I, we followed nine months later. We have never been wealthy people, but we've been blessed enough to live a comfortable life. 
but the last few years have been anything but comfortable and watching the amount of stress and anxiety that my parents have gone through financially um, has been really difficult. When I arrived in the UK, I knew that I needed to earn, I needed to contribute and I needed to pull my weight. If I wanted to study and if I wanted to go to university, if I wanted to be at the Elite Academy, I needed to be able to contribute because my parents were in no position to do it by themselves. So within a week of me being there, I was looking for work. I was looking for any work that I could get. I started off by walking dogs, babysitting, house cleaning. I eventually got a job as a carer for the elderly. The care job was very far out of my comfort zone. I was looking after two paraplegic men. I was changing adult nappies. I was working 14 hour shifts, but it was money in the bank and it was a job and it's what I needed to do. I then managed to get a job as an events administrator for Kia UK, working with the five regional business managers as they were hosting events across the country showcasing their new electric cars. My So my dad is now earning and my mom has a part-time job, a part-time temporary job. She's looking for something more full-time and permanent. But they have not stopped working so incredibly hard to provide and to rebuild our family and they have had to restart their lives they don't want me to have to worry about any of it but i can't not worry i know what they have been through and i know what they are still going through and although money is coming into the bank especially with my university fees and rent fees money is going out of the bank just as quickly I don't want them to have to just about make it. I want them to have some money left over each month to put back into savings and to help rebuild their lives. I myself am not able to greatly financially help my parents and I'm not able to take that monthly burden away from them. But if the hard work that I've put in through high school and through this year and the hard work that I'm going to put in to this diploma, if that can earn me a scholarship, and if that can help them financially, that would mean the world to me and to them, but more to me. <laughs> so I'm applying for the Elate Memorial Scholarship to help my parents financially. They have helped so many people through their lifetime, but now they are the ones that need the help. And if I can get this for them, it would mean the world and be an answer to so many prayers. And if I get this a late memorial scholarship, it will make my three-year diploma that much more rewarding and I will make the Elite Academy proud. So thank you for this opportunity and I really do hope to be considered.